Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for the quick Wednesday update on one of the latest upcoming handheld devices. Today we're going to be discussing the Heli Geli K56 or K560. Don't know exactly how to pronounce that name. Heli Geli, Heli Geli. <laughs> Not sure, but uh, it was initially thought to be from Power Kitty. It has now been confirmed to be from a completely different company. This is the design here. It looks very similar to the Parkiri X55 to me, just a little bit more curvy at the back. Very interesting color choice. I like the orange and the black, and it looks to be quite comfortable and ergonomic. Um, some of the color choices on the K560 have also been revealed. These are all renders, so it's not actually units, just computer renders. Once again, the orange and black looks really good, and uh, also the white and orange over here. I like the maroon and kind of beige. I do not like this blue and red. Not very crazy about that, but that's just me personally. Other than that, Retro Handouts has done an article on it based on some information that has been made available on their Discord. Uh, as stated in this article, to which I'll leave a link in the description, many of these companies uh, test out their units by discussing it with fans on the Retro Handouts Discord. And according to them and the information obtained by the Aeolus UX team, uh, they also have some videos on their YouTube channel I'll leave some links to. According to them, the unit will have a 5.5 inch 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen with a 1280 by 720 resolution. And it will come in two flavors. It will either have a Helios G99 chip or it will have a Unisoc T620 chip. Now the T620, it's the first time I've heard of that chip. On Unisoc's site, it says that it has two ARM Cortex-A75 cores at 2.2 GHz and six ARM Cortex-A55 cores at 1.8 GHz. So I haven't seen this chip in any handhelds before, but I know that the RG405M has got the T618, which is just one level down, I'm guessing. This chip, according to Anbenic's site, has two A75s at 2 GHz and six A55s at 2 GHz as well, so slightly faster than the t620 so that there's a lot of factors that could play in there it could be due to cost might be a little cheaper for the t620 but i'm assuming uh, they should have more or less the same performance especially considering that they have more or less the same gpu so the rg405m is going for roughly 150 dollars it's quite a popular unit it can play quite a lot of ps2 and gamecube games not all of the catalog but quite a few of them and uh, very popular with an aluminium shell the Retroid Pocket 2S is another unit that you can compare it to as it has a Unisoc T610 headset with uh, 1.8 GHz cores across the band and a GPU that is slightly slower. Uh, so I did a, a quick Google for some benchmarks. When comparing the T618 and the T610, they're very similar. The only difference is in 3D performance really where the T618 pulls a little ahead. And that would support what we know about these chips as the RG405M can generally play a little bit more PS2 and GameCube games than the 2S. The 2S can barely scratch the surface with that. It'll play some very basic PlayStation 2 games and some GameCube games. Your mileage on this may vary, but in general, it doesn't play the whole catalog. Um, so considering the before mentioned, this unit with a T620 would have to fit into those price ranges between 100 to $150. And I would guess it would be at around 120 maybe $140 given the largest screen. So that would be good. It would make it considerable. It would make it something worth considering at least. As far as the G99 chipset goes on the K560, it is available in the ZPG A1 Unicorn, which can play most PS2 and GameCube games, not all of them once again, but most of it. And it is available for $220 to $245 on AliExpress. So if Eligili wants to compete, they would have to come in at a price that is slightly less than this me to even consider it so that's what i've been able to find out about this upcoming unit let me know in the comments what you think do you like the design what color options would you choose do you think you would consider this unit above some of the other retro handouts in the space i'd love to hear your thoughts if you want some more information on the zpg a1 unicorn or the rg405m there are links on screen now that you can click on for my videos on those but that's it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day and i'll catch you in the next tech update